welcome to Spirited Art. This is part two of the parents' time off, and we're going to be doing the ice cream cone. All right, so let's get started. Now, you may have some of these colors from the owl, but I didn't uh, keep my plate, so I'm starting fresh. So put your brushes in the water and make sure they're very clean. And we're gonna start with our big brush. Tap it on your napkin, all right? And we're gonna make a peachy color. So we're gonna take a scoop of yellow, a scoop of red, and then a big scoop of white. Just go right along the edge of your white so you don't taint the whole pile. Then push this around. We may need to add some more white if it's too dark, but we should be getting kind of a peach. Okay, if it's too orangey, you may need to add a little bit more red. I'm gonna add just a little more red and then I'll be adding some more white. This is gonna be our background color. Now you could make a different background color if you want to, that's no problem. Just keep in mind what you're gonna be using for your ice cream flavors so that it will stand out against your background. Okay, that looks better. Let's go ahead and put that on our canvas. Now some people like to outline with their little brush and that's totally good. I'm just gonna use my big brush and I'm gonna go around the ice cream scoops, around the ice cream cone. Take your time. Around the cherry at the top. Like I said, you can use your little brush if you want to. And then I'm gonna fill in the entire rest of the canvas. Now, if you see that streak right there, that's just paint that wasn't fully mixed, okay? So you just keep running your brush over it. I'm gonna put a little more paint on there and it will mix right on the canvas. If you find that it looks a little too dark for you, you can dip your bristles right in the white paint and put, the, put it right on the canvas and it will mix right on the canvas as long as it's still wet, as long as the paint on the canvas is still wet. I just wanna show you this. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of white on my bristles and I'm gonna paint right over top and it'll just lighten that up for me a little bit if I'd rather have it a little bit lighter. Okay, do the other side the same way. Now you can see this, this is the example. It's a little bit pinker, so they probably had a little more red in there. And then it's also a little bit lighter, so they probably had a little more white. So you, Mix the color until you're happy with it. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. Okay, when you're all finished with your background, let's go ahead and rinse your big brush and make sure it's really clean. We're gonna use white and that spicy mustard color to make the cone, the color for the cone. Now, if you have the paint left over from the owl, it, this would be the color that we did his face. So it's a scoop of white and about half as much of that spicy brown yellow. If it's too pale, you can add a little bit more of that yellow. This is kind of like a buttery butterscotch color. That's good for me. I want it to be light enough that when I use that spicy brown as my outline, it'll show up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the cone. And you wanna also do the top of the cone too. Don't worry if you um, color over that line. We'll put it back with the outline. Be careful of your background because it's still wet. Okay. All right, we're gonna let that dry before we put any detail on it. So go ahead and rinse your brush again and we're gonna make that mint chocolate chip color this is really, really pretty. We're gonna use it for the ice cream, and then as you can see, we're also gonna put it in the background. Not yet, because our background's not dry, but we are gonna use the same colors for the sprinkles in the background and on the ice cream. And that helps your eye move around the painting. It just kind of ties it all together when you see the same color throughout the painting. All right, I'm going to dry my brush. 
this color is really cool. I love this color. I'm gonna take a scoop of white and then uh, just a little bit of green. I can always add more green and it's gonna make a really pretty mint color. Now, if you wanted to have strawberry ice cream, you could mix white and red. If you wanted to do vanilla, you could just paint it white. You do wanna paint it white though because it's a little bit brighter when you use the white paint than if you just leave the canvas empty, okay? But you could paint it white and then put, put chocolate chips on top of that. You can also use your little brush for this, guys. I'm using my big brush, but if you wanna use your little brush, that's that's good too. All right, so that's the first part of my mint chocolate chip ice cream and I'm coming all the way up to the background color. So there isn't any white space and there's not an outline on this. So you wanna come all the way up to the background color. All right, and then we're gonna rinse our brush. I'm gonna go in that straight brown for my chocolate. Hey guys, just in case you're not finished painting, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? We actually tried some new ice cream. Actually, it wasn't new to me, but it was the yogurt. It was vanilla yogurt with raspberry swirl from Manning's and it was really good. All right, so hopefully everyone's finished with their first color. Now, this brown is a little bit streaky, so you can either try to put it on thick like that but I think either way, we're gonna need two coats. So we're gonna go ahead and put our first coat on. And remember, this scoop kind of comes over top of the scoop that is right against the cone. So you want those bumps on the scoop of ice cream to come over top. And I'm just putting it on as thick as I can, but we definitely are gonna need a second coat. So let's just leave it on best we can and then we'll come back to it if you put if you lay your brush sideways sometimes you can put the paint on thicker that's a trick that we use with that with the gold paint or any metallic if you put the brush like sideways to the canvas instead of painting straight up and down against the canvas it will actually put it on a little bit thicker for you okay let's put our big brush in the water take your little brush make sure it's clean and we're gonna go straight into the red and color in that cherry at the top. I'm not gonna put the stem on right now because I think my background might still be wet. If you think your background's completely dry, you can add the stem now and it's just a curved line out from the center of the cherry. Okay, I'm putting on a second coat here. I want the red to be kind of thick because what I'm gonna do is dip the tip of my bristles in the white and then I'm just gonna color in on the side here and it's gonna give just a little bit of a pinkness to the cherry so that it's not all one color. So you come back in with straight red and you'll see that there's just a little bit of a change in color there. Oops, my cherry just got a little larger, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> all right, rinse your brush. Now, while we give all of that a little time to dry, we're gonna make some sprinkles. So take a scoop of white. You can use your little brush for this. We don't need a lot of these colors. Scoop of white and take another scoop of white, second pile, okay? Take a scoop of yellow, add it to one pile and mix that around. The reason that we're putting white and yellow together is because our dark, our, excuse me, our background is darker than the yellow. Our yellow is translucent. So if I put yellow over top of this peach, you would not see it. You would just see it through to the peach. The peach would show through. But now that I have the white in the yellow, it makes it opaque, and the yellow will actually sit on top of our background when it's dry. All right, I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm going to put red into the other pile of white, and this is gonna make a hot pink. That's gonna be my other sprinkle color. So I've got this hot pink, which I might add a little more red to. I've got yellow and I still have some of that green. That's gonna be a sprinkle color. And then for the chocolate chips, we're gonna use straight brown. Okay, so we've got our sprinkles. 
Now I'm rinsing my brush and I'm going to use this spicy mustard straight. Hopefully my cone is pretty dry. So I'm gonna outline it. I'm putting it on kind of thick because I'm a little bit afraid my background's not dry. So you're gonna go around the edges of the entire cone. And then you wanna take a line through the center. If you don't see that line at the top of the cone, just come down maybe two, maybe one or two fingers from the bottom scoop. And it's just from corner to corner. You can kind of see the corner of the cone, see how the, it juts out a little bit. So there's a corner there, corner there, and you just wanna take that line corner to corner. And that's sort of the top of the cone. I'm gonna put just a little bit of this spicy mustard in the top just for um, kind of a highlight, but I'm actually gonna use it to make the lines in the bottom part. So I'm gonna make diagonal lines. You can start anywhere on this horizontal line here, and I'm just gonna make diagonal lines, skip a space, make another one. You wanna re-dip in your paint frequently, skip a space. All these lines are diagonal down and toward the right. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do, and they don't have to be exact, then what I wanna do to make the crisscross is start at the top and you're gonna go diagonally down to the left. Okay, and this is gonna make that crisscross. You can come skipping a space, making a new line. And you know how those cones look, the sugar cones. This makes that, those little indentations, and it makes it look much more like a ice cream cone, an ice cream cone than it did before. Okay. Um, let's work on our background and we're still going to need to let that brown dry for that chocolate. Actually, if you have a hair dryer, let's go blow this dry a little bit. I'm just going to hit it with the hair dryer. It's a normal hair dryer and it's just to help it, um, if your paint's shiny, it's still wet. time with the hair dryer because I bet that just got loud. So if you want to be more patient than I am, just let it dry on its own. It should take a minute or two, but I'm going to put a second coat on that chocolate ice cream now. And I know it's not completely dry, but it should be dry enough to put a, another coat on. So let's see. Yeah. See how much darker that is now? And it, you can't really see the streaks in it either. better. You may even want to put a third coat on this. I'm not going to just for time's sake, but since you have enough time, um, you may want to go ahead and put a third coat on that. Okay, let's use our little brush in the brown, and we are going to put some chocolate chips into our mint chocolate chip ice cream. Okay, so chocolate chips. These can be just little tiny dabs, and you can kind of twist your brush back and forth a little bit. They're not really circles, they're kind of like dash marks, but they're very, they're very small. You could make little squares even if you wanted to. All right, so those are my chocolate chips. Maybe I'll add one more here. Okay. All right, let's put some sprinkles in the background. I'm gonna rinse my brush. Let's start with yellow. And these are just gonna be diagonal lines in the background. They're kind of supposed to be sprinkles. If you don't like yellow, you don't have to have a lot of yellow sprinkles. Let's see. I'm gonna put some, I know this is still wet, but I'm gonna very lightly try to put some yellow sprinkles on my chocolate ice cream. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush. Let's put some pink ones on. Okay, pink. 
this pink is dark enough that it should show up in my background. If your background is a little bit darker, you can actually add a little more red, make it a hotter pink, and it will show up a little better. You could also use straight red because you have the cherry on top. So you could actually use straight red as, as sprinkles in the background too. And I'm gonna add a few to the chocolate. Okay, last color for sprinkles is that mint green. If you don't have enough left over, remember it was just a scoop of white and about a half scoop of green. And use this to fill in wherever there's a space in your background. And then add a few to your chocolate. Okay. All right, last thing. Oh no, two things, two things. One, we have to put the, the stem on our cherry. Okay, so straight red. And it's just come to the center, the top center, and then just a little, very light pressure, curve line out, okay? That's the stem. If you want, while we're still here, if you wanna take just a little bit of brown on your brush and where the stem meets the cherry, just put a little bit of brown in there, you can do that. That's kind of where you look down into the, where the stem meets the fruit. Sometimes it's a little bit darker. Okay, last thing, I'm gonna use my big brush. You can use whatever handle works the best, but we're gonna actually take the back of our brush and I'm gonna go into the white. I have a little bit of white left that's still clean. And I'm just gonna touch the back of the brush to the canvas, maybe twist the brush back and forth a little bit, and it should come away with a nice circle. And you're just gonna put a few white dots here and there in the background. You don't need to put these in the chocolate ice cream. Okay, maybe I'll do one more right up here. All right, now that's our ice cream cone. So we did the owl and we did the ice cream cone. So you have one more thing left to paint and that is the cookies. So you just use a little bit of water. I think they have directions, um, but you're gonna use water and you're going to hydrate the colors. And then you can use the little brush that she gave you, but this is clean water guys, not the water we just use for painting. But a clean cup of water, hydrate the paints, and then you can paint in the, um, the cookies with the colors that she gave you. All right, and I hope you had fun with this, and I hope that um, you have a great weekend.